All right, good, after, good afternoon, everyone. I hope everybody got to stretch. <laughs> um, my name is Falakbai Arawolo, and I'm from UW-Madison, and speaking on the behalf of the BGR group. And today I'm going to talk about our efforts in developing personalized pig avatars for new precision medicine, medicine initiatives. So historically, drug and therapy development has taken a one-size-fits-all approach, which means treatments are designed for the average person. This approach can be ineffective, as we've seen specific groups of people respond differently to treatment. People respond differently because of their lifestyles, environment, and their genetics. But now, precision medicine is changing the way we treat and diagnose disease. We are now combining comprehensive patient medical information with computational tools and gene editing technology, which I'm sure you've all been hearing about today, um, to create tailored treatments for a person-specific genetic makeup. Creating tailored treatments is especially useful in cancer research because cancers, cancers are caused by a diverse range of mutations which all may affect people differently. An example of this is seen in the genetic disorder known as neurofibromatosis, also known as NF1. So NF1 is one of the most common monogenic disorders and is more widespread than cystic fibrosis, Tay-Sachs, and Huntington's disease combined and it is caused by mutations to the neurofibromin gene and affects one in 3,000 births. Individuals with NF1 are predisposed to very painful tumors that grow on their central and peripheral nerves, uh, cognitive impairments, and bone deformities. And to make matters even more complicated, there are over 3,000 unique NF1 mutations that have been clinically identified. Currently, there's no cure for NF1, and we cannot perform clinical trials because there aren't enough people with the same NF1 mutation to potentially receive a therapeutic intervention. And although in vivo and in vitro rodent models, I'm sorry, in vivo um, rodent models have been very helpful in est establishing our foundational knowledge of, on NF1, they still fail to recapitulate the manifestation, the human manifestation of NF1. So at UW-Madison, our lab, we've decided to address these limitations by developing a pig model to help us understand and potentially create a treatment for NF1 patients. Because before we advance the clin clinical trials, we need optimized, precise, preclinical models that we need to test treatments on. We've chosen pigs as our model organism because their anatomy, physiology, and genetics are remarkably similar to humans. Additionally, at UW-Madison, we've carried out numerous preclinical trials that have been, act that, and the pigs have been able to accurately mimic several aspects of different human diseases. Our plan is to harness gene editing technology like CRISPR to develop gene, genetically engineered swine models to better understand the mechanisms behind NF1 and potentially develop a treatment for NF, um, people suffering from NF1. We currently have used uh, CRISPR to create gene-edited pigs that are already displaying some of the NF1 pathologies seen in pediatric patients. Our goal is to create a pig avatar for all people suffering from NF1, particularly children like Mason, who have been experiencing pain from the tumors that NF1 causes. Preclinical models allow us to optimize treatments for patients without exposing them to the harmful effects that come from imprecise treatments or a treatment that wasn't perfectly tailored for them. And historically, animal models have been tremendously helpful for us in biomedical research. And despite the ethical concerns that may come with using animal models, they offer a chance to improve the lives of men, women, and children suffering from life-threatening diseases. Thank you.